Hello. Dear students, how are you all? Hope you are doing well. As we have started new chapter of our syllabus chapter number 7 sound and hearing. Today we are going to discuss. What is sound and how we can hear different sounds. I am going to talk about what we are going to study today. Following are the learning objectives of today's lesson. In this lecture we will discuss and learn following things. Recapitulation of previous lecture. How sounds are made. How sound travels. Sound as a wave. Model of a sound wave. So let us start with recap of previous lecture. In the last lecture we have discussed the following topics in detail. We have solved exercise questions. Question number 5 and question number 6. Listen attentively. Now we are going to start today's lecture. First we have to discuss what is sound. We know sound, like light, is a form of energy that can travel from one place to another. Our ears can detect this energy, that is one way we can find out what is going on around us. Sounds come from traffic, machines, televisions, and radios. Some sounds are pleasant, others are a nuisance, and some can be dangerous. Now the second objective of today's study is How sounds are made Sounds are made when something vibrates. All musical instruments have a part that vibrates. In a guitar there are strings which vibrate. Even a singer's vocal cords vibrate. You can feel this yourself if you hold your hand against your throat and say ah. If we are listening to a drummer in a band, we do not have to put our ear on the drum skin to hear the beat. Sound can travel through the air. The sound is carried to our ears by vibrating molecules in the air. Dear students, your attention is required. We are discussing about how sound travels. Sound can only move when there is a material to move through. Sound can travel through all substances whether they are solids, liquids, or gases. In fact, sound can pass anywhere there are particles, and the more tightly packed the particles are, the further the sound travels. However, sound cannot travel through a vacuum. I am going to talk about what we are going to study today. Following are the learning objectives of today's lesson. In this lecture we will discuss and learn following things. Recapitulation of previous lecture. How sounds are made. How sound travels. Sound as a wave. Model of a sound wave. In the diagram shown on the slide you can see the how sound can travel in liquid media. Stop the video and observe the diagram carefully. Now it's time to start next objective of today's lesson. Sound as a wave. When the cone of a loudspeaker vibrates, it moves in and out very quickly, stretching and squashing the air in front of it. The stretches and squashes spread through the air rather like the ripples on a pond when you throw a stone into the water. These are sound waves. When they reach our ears they make our eardrums vibrate and we hear a sound. Now the second objective of today's study is. How sounds are made. Sounds are made when something vibrates. All musical instruments have a part that vibrates. In a guitar there are strings which vibrate. Now it's time to move forward towards next objective which is Model of a sound wave In this topic we will learn the following things in detail. First one is compression. When a loudspeaker squashes the air in front of it, the air molecules are forced closer together. This is called a compression. Secondly we will learn about refraction. When the loudspeaker stretches the air, the molecules are spread out. This is called a rarefaction. Sound waves are a series of compressions and rarefactions. Thirdly and lastly we are going to discuss about wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between two compressions or two rarefactions. Now we can explain this topic with the help of diagram. We can model this by sending a wave down a long slinky spring. Observe the diagram by stopping your video play. The wave on the string and sound waves are called longitudinal waves this means that their vibrations move backwards and forwards, 
not up and down like waves on the sea. A sound wave is an example of an oscillation. An oscillation is a regular backward and forward, or upward and downward, movement. A mass on a spring will oscillate up and if it is pulled down and then released, so too will a child swing if it is pushed once. See you in the next class. Thank you for your attention and listening. Goodbye. See you in the next class. Thank you for your attention and listening. Goodbye.